Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Preseason Cup number 2 in Blood Bowl 3. We've got 32 teams this season, uh, as you can see the draw there with like the kind of brackets would be the semi-finalists, so like it's just easier to work out that way. Um, and in the booth with me is Calcium, hello! Ah uh, yeah, how you doing Jim? Not bad, thank you very much. Good Glorious. Good, good. You know, that's that's not to say that we haven't spoken for the last ten minutes or anything, but you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Team professional, professional, as well as team fantastic till I die. Just Glorious! Saying. What an absolute legend! <laughs> right, so let's get into it. So we've got bracket A. We've got Sebatuno versus Knocky Pops. Okay, so that is these Nurgle here. Look. Path or World, 1725 TV, which is very, very low um, in this kind of format. Only three rerolls. I prefer the word trim. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's very trim, isn't it? It is. Um, it, it's it's good for its TV, isn't it? You know, there's a good spread of block. Um, there's probably not quite enough guard, but the bloaters have guard. Um, mm -hmm. Along with the rot spawn, stand firm on the rot spawn is nice. Two claw mighties, which obviously nowhere near as effective in this rule set, but still a thing. Um, couple attack. Uh, shame he hasn't got tackle on claw mighty, but you know, it's it's fine for its TV, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually, um, and and you know, like you can argue that this plus morgue is better than a two one TV team anyway, right? So like it's yeah. Morg is really, really, really good. <laughs> Basically, is I think I'm. I, I think I'm going to say this a lot today, Jim. Um, this is obviously missing a dirty player sneaky git because it yeah. it's insanely powerful in this rule set. Um, you know, having a rotter or even a, you know, I I wouldn't mind even building a pesty as yeah. dirty player sneaky. You know, but certainly a rotter. <clears throat> um, yeah. But. That, that's a minor quibble, really. Yeah, perfectly fine, this team. Yeah, I mean, a bit extreme building a Pestigo, I think, Kaz, but I mean, you do love farming, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah mate. I, I, I'd, build my, I'd build my grandmother as a fowling machine if I could field her on the team, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, and he's up against Knocky Pops, who's nine, well, well, 1.96 um, Chaos team. Oh my god, he's got his whole team's injured. <laughs> <laughs> but oh passing God, ability that. doesn't matter. Edge doesn't matter on the troll, so it's really only a one minus AV. Oh wow, Christ, he's gone. It's like it's like a set of traffic lights, isn't it? Um, holy cow! So <laughs> <clears throat> AV bust is horrible. Although that chaos blocker has blodge. Mm. Um, two chaos blockers with blodge. Yeah. Um, I, what's the foul? Is that foul appearance? That's foul appearance. Yeah. Yeah. What the. What the hell is that about? Um, yeah. There, there are a million better skills you could give them there, except foul appearance in there. Maybe, yeah. maybe they were randos. Maybe they were randos. Oh, this, that's a good this, point. This thing in it, we don't know if they were randos. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, four. So that's two hundred. Right, four's one sixty. So that's two hundred. Two twenty. Two hundred and thirty. Wait, um, one. No, dodge would be thirty k, wouldn't it? No, no, forty. So yeah, that's right, two forty. Oh, yeah. right. So, yeah, so yeah, two hundred yeah. for the others, and then forty for the dodge. So yeah, he's picked. He's picked foul appearance. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's got a bad? <laughs> it's a bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that notwithstanding, he's, he's obviously got. Hey, no matter how good or bad it is, I've always got admiration for coaches that run a feed. And the fact that he's got three foul appearances on his team suggests to me that he probably likes foul appearance. And, you know, we, we can point and laugh at coaches, but we should also respect their decision as well while we're pointing and laughing at them. Oh, wow, look at that. What a, what a nice guy. What a nice guy, Kaz. Look at that. People, people say he's toxic. What a lovely fella. And also we've got a, we've got a sneaky get dirty player, Beastman. There you go. Yes. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, I quite like the wrestle tackle. Um, on a yeah. beastman just gives you options, doesn't it? Yeah. So, kick. I love kick on any team I play. I fit especially a chaos team allows you to control the position of the ball a little bit more, um, which is really essential against faster moving teams. You know, so 
against DACA specialists, you know, you can kick shallow and put DACA specialists under pressure, you know, with the right dice rolls. So yeah, big fan of kick as well. Mm, there you go. Right. But this is a, it's an interesting game. And I think, so obviously this team outguns the other team. Um, significant by two to one, actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a lot rowdier. Yeah, Hard I think... knock over um, as well with the foul appearance and the dodge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually, the synergy between foul appearance and blodge, maybe that's what he was thinking. I think he's wrong, but, you yes. know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially this one with 17 SPP, right? Could have maybe he's got defensive on that one, and, and defensive is way better. Oh, defensive played right is just so good. Yeah, it's, you know, it's brilliant at like high TV like this. Uh, terrible yeah. in redraft, but um, yeah. amazing yeah. in this kind of format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so there we go. That's round number. That's match number one. Then match number Let's two. Go. Match number two. We have Olivier Dulac, who is uh, the top-rated uh, blood bowl player in the world, I think, in tabletop. I believe. You can correct Ooh. me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty <laughs> no, sure. I Hang on a minute, I'll just... Um, no, I don't give a fuck, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is, anyway. Uh, with humans up against Coralar with Dark Elves. So there you go. And then we can go straight... Look at this, look at... What a, what a pro here. Um, yeah, this is Olivier Dulac's team, and it's... Uh, not the best team you've ever seen, is it? <laughs> it's humans. Two halflings. 1.95. Two halflings. Oh, dirty player sneaky get halfling is oh, great. Yes. Yeah, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Fun. Um, but two halflings. I think the other halfling is just utterly unnecessary. <laughs> For an extra 20k, you can get yourself a decent player on the LOS. Um, mm. There's a nice, there's a nice spread of dodge. Um, but uh, stand firm as well. Ogre pro. Mm, yeah, okay. I, you know, yeah, it's a lot of TV. It. I'm not. I'd rather have a. I'd rather have defensive, to be honest. Do you know what? Now you've said that. Yeah, I. I. I'll be honest. I didn't pay much attention to the TV when the team came up. It's. This is not trim. This is. Porky. <laughs> <laughs> it is Porky. It's interesting though. He's got. He's got a lot of break tackle, hasn't he? And he's got a lot of dodge. And he's why, got uh, this he... thrower, move seven, edge four. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Oh, no, it's, it's passing. Oh, my God, he's got plus passing ability. Oof. Oof. I take it break tackle works differently now, Jim, because it would, it has to work differently, otherwise it's worthless, isn't it? It does, yes. It gives you, like, a one-time plus one to your dodges. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, like, it's it's okay as a random strength, but I wouldn't pick it as a strength. So I, again, I imagine he's maybe taking them randoms. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to maybe. do maths to find out. That it would be unlikely to hit three break tackles on three randos like that, wouldn't it? I'm it yeah, it's be. possible. Any anything's possible, isn't it? Christ, <laughs> <clears throat> we're talking about a game where rolling quad skulls seems to have, have to happen too much, aren't we? So. <clears throat> Yep. But yeah, it's fine, isn't it? It's fine, but it's you're fine. right. It's quite it's quite bloaty at 1950, and he's not going to get much in the way of inducements at that TV, is he? And I think he's going to pay for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, be, I think this team would be better if it just like didn't have the throw, for example, right? And just had, had more chance of getting Morg or something to, to really help. Yeah. Like, all he's really got is this Tackle Mighty and some blood things. And, you know, again, like, obviously, a lot of these teams are going to be fine for the ladder, but... Um, and obviously, he's obviously better than everyone he's played in the ladder this season. <laughs> but when it comes to the playoffs, you know, you kind of do want to have a good team somewhat. And uh, this is, oh, this is a bit, this is a bit rash. Sixteen players. At, uh, I, but I guess one's missed next. So, but he, no, but there's no, there's no. Um, the playoffs are res, right? So you absolutely. Oh, yes, yeah, he's just got fifteen. So he can. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. The playoffs are res. So that guy's never coming back. He's just dead. Um, the playoffs are res. Yes, because there's no way to run a league in Blood Bowl Three. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so they're, having to, they're having to make everybody play um, play friendlies. Yeah. So, so in order to facilitate that, your teams are locked in before the playoffs. 
and they can't be altered in any way. You know, there's no, there's no, like, um, you know, transferring from treasury or anything unless both teams agree to, which the person who would lose out is not going to agree to. So nobody's going to agree to that. Um, Good God. So yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I should have explained that at the start. Sorry, yeah. but you know we've got there in the end. To um, be fair, Jim, if you'd explained that at the start, I'd have been like, "Well, thanks for coming and stay fantastic." <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But yeah, I mean, that, that's I, I yeah. Hey, if that's all they can do, then fair play. But yeah, it's, still it, so. it's cool. It's cool that like you know pe- people have organised a, a cup. Um, even even if it's uh, you know like you know they've they've, they've done it with this, the the limited tools they've got available they, they've they've managed to couple something together so I think that's pretty cool and uh, there's a lot of yeah. stats here isn't there three move ups but not a double move and and you need that double move right to get a really good chance of a one turn you do it would have been really nice if he had one of these movement nine um, but he doesn't uh, but it's pretty nice like loads of wrestle uh, we've got a sneaky get dirty player kick ultimate. Ultimate player here, isn't he? Ultimate utility yeah. player, um, he kicks it. Amazing, he, yeah. Kick, kick synergizes so well with dirty players and he can get now. It really does because you're far less likely to get sent off, you know? Armed with, a, if you can induce a bribe as well with sneaky get dirty player, why aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just devastatingly good. Mm. Devastatingly good. Even better when you've got a red death roller on the pitch, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, two guards. <laughs> two guards and some, some stuff. It's pretty it's pretty solid it's pretty solid uh dark elf team, but it's a lot of T V and I think actually this is probably even bloatier than the humans, so <laughs> well three hundred three hundred K bloatier, so uh how much is Morg again? Uh he's about four thirty. No he's not oh, three right. much he used to be three eighty years exactly. Yeah, but I, I bet the humans have got a few gold coins in the bank. You know, like, the, you know, this guy's down to his last 1.25 mil. <laughs> they, they, yeah, that's the thing they can't spend, though. This is the thing you can't spend because it's... Oh, right, yeah, okay. For the friendly aspect, so... Gotcha. Okay, well, that, that's probably just as well, then. Otherwise, it'd be broke to shit, wouldn't it? You yeah. know, people people that know how to break games like Artemis would end up with 10 million in the bank. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, p- people have ended up like that because they've played so many games, right? Like, Artemis has got, like, a dwarf team that's 115 wins and one loss. And that's because he's played about 30 games and has 85 concessions, like, after turn two or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. It, 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 do you know what? I... Hey, I'm a big fan of members of the community caring about this game enough to do this, and I will absolutely, that's why I'm here, absolutely supporting it. Um, That being said, I have no interest in playing it (laughs) (laughs) until it's not broke to shit, you know? Um, And chances are it's never going to be not broke to shit. So anyway, sadly true. Yep, moving on. Who do you think is going to win that game then? I think I think Olivia Dulac. Um, Yeah. Maybe I, because he's the best tabletop player in the world, you know. Yeah, yeah, like that does matter, you know. Like, there's a lot of names here. There's some names we know. There's a lot of names we don't know. But um, yeah. you know, of the names that you know, when 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 they're number one right, ranked in the world, you've got to uh, you've got to put a bit of respect on that name, haven't you? So yeah. yeah I think... no, 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 no. I obviously I obviously was joking in my initial comment when I didn't when I said I didn't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> you know, fair play to the guy. Um, the fact that you know. Trawling tabletop events all the time, actually playing Blood Bowl at uh, Blood Bowl events. Yeah, fair play, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go then. So yeah, I think Olivia Dulac uh, should be the pr- well, should be is favoured. Let's not say it will win. It should be yeah. favoured. Then we've got Jahil with dwarves up against Morbird with dark elves. So okay. Oh, two sex, Jim. You, um, you're going to be solo for two minutes. Okay, okay. So um, as you can see here. <laughs> Wall of Dorf 1.76. We've got a defensive finally. Um, six, seven guard. Not that many guard actually. Um, but I quite like the way he's built the troll slayer here. Mighty blow tackle jugs. You know, no need for pylon. I mean, can't have pylon, but like a no, no need to like go just guard stand firm. Something boring, right? He's still taking the rest of the killery stuff, and then taking guard afterwards. Runner with Blodge on the ball. Oh yeah, it's not a kick up returns on the ball. Um, should have done more stats, right? These last three skills should have probably been stats. Um, should have been getting those stats up. You need, you really want. There's really when you're building a team to this for this format to this kind of TV. 
there's really no excuse for not having a, a superb ball carrier, which means double movement and probably add your movement, uh, probably add your strength as well. And every single team should have had a stat freak ball carrier. And uh, every team that doesn't have a stat freak ball carrier is not shit, but is not as good as it could have been. <laughs> um, and he's up against more bird. The three millioners. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people trying to make three million Dark Elf teams uh, this season. And uh, I don't think any of them managed it, and most of them didn't qualify. But there you go, here's one that did. Morbird um, has got a very injured team, but obviously two passing ones, not so bad. Move up, edge down, which is horrendous. Move down, runner with a million skills is terrible. But he's got a couple of guarders and a defensive and some blodge step. And Sorry about that, mate. No problem. Uh, um, so, Christ, this... Oh, my God. <laughs> this, yeah. is, this looks trim. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the funny thing, right? They all look worse when they have these these red things that don't matter make every team look worse that has injuries, right? But uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still... The move down on a run is <laughs> awful. And AV down on a witch elf is awful. Um, 12 AV6, AV6 or 7 plus in modern money is worthless isn't it it's just so worthless yeah it's really bad really bad it's defensive not so good as well on dark hills right like it's, it's good on the strength <coughs> four and strength five guys in the bash mirrors it's it's a bit worse uh, yeah yeah yeah. Um, so yeah yeah you you breathe on that witch elf and you know with a pal or a tackle and it's game over in it it's just off you off you trot you know yep and uh you missed calcium you missed uh Jaheel's dwarf team, but it looks like the dwarf team will chew that up and spit it out. To okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I probably don't need to look at the dwarf team right now. No, you, know, you don't. It's like every other dwarf team ever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine it's very imaginatively built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Who, who Artemis has got is pretty hilarious. Here. So we've got Paminks, Paminks with dwarves versus Artemis Black and Escaven and uh, Artemis with Skaven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's so that he didn't have to take his dwarves so that because if he took his dwarves he'd have to play again to get top of the ladder and, and have to fight Cruz to get top of the ladder. So he just cooked to he just took the Skaven so his unassailable dwarves could retain the top spot of the ladder. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so there we go. Look, 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 check out this dwarf team. Look at this. Fwa. This is so, an exciting. GG. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's pretty strong. I mean, I think I'm. Oh no, you can't have a natty, but he must surely have Juggernaut, right? But still, um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stand firm. <laughs> um, even, even with a natty, um, oh, sorry, not a natty. Even with a um, you know a, a, a movement up, um, you know, with, with sprint. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess you can get that one push with jugs, can't you? So, but so if you push into another player with stand firm, with jugs, do you, can you move multiple stand firms? No, I don't think so. So in that in that case, he'd have to be very careful where he applied his push, wouldn't he? Yes, yeah, yeah. He'd have to push back and then in, but he, he don't need one push. We don't even know if he's got juggernaut anyway. Let, let's focus no. on the dwarves. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 11 guard, 9 stand firm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mighty blow? Yeah, I just, 10 mighty blow, 11 guard, <laughs> 9 and, stand firm. And the cherry on this cake of bullshit, the dirty player, sneaky git death roller. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go, baby. Yep, undefensive, bludge defense. Amazing. Blodge firm defensive. Oh my god. You, you, you're literally not going to be able to make a block. Artemis will be lucky. He's going to have to isolate the edge players, literally. He's not going to be able to make a block on anything here. No, it's brutal, isn't it? This is brutal. Two, two like, three defenses total. Loads of stuff. He's got two kicks. Maybe it's some two randoms here. Yeah. Um, Amazing, amazing team. 14 players to fight like the uh, the claw teams. D yeah. Again, though, doesn't have the good runner, right? I mean, guard is good, but, you know, imagine if this guy was movement 8, edge 2+, plus, right? Like, that's that's the thing. Yeah. He, and he could be, right? He's only got three skills, so he, he yeah. could have played yeah. more and got these skills. And You've got to build him different, in not you? You've got to, mm. you know, um, you you just got to build him different. Um, but, 
this team's going to wreck Art. Do you know what? I genuinely hope Art wins, but I'm certainly going to watch him get murdered as well. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, only got two rerolls as well, so that's, that's interesting. Um, no leader. Yeah, no leader. So that, that like, you yeah. know, he, he could definitely get unlucky. And oh my god, wow! Art's team is two point one six five. So that's a uh, that's a pretty good team. And uh, gone for a deep bench, which I well, I, I don't think he could he could field a hundred players this game. And I think this dwarf team would still chew through him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, sneaky player, dirty uh, sneaky get dirty player, which is great. Two claw mighties. Um, Art's only hope here is to get a couple of really good turns in, get some removals, and hit and run. That's his only hope, isn't it? Yep. Stall, yeah. you know, stall the score, maybe um, with a few kind dice rolls or kickoff results, steal the ball, you know, because the moment he gets tagged, um, you know, um, all his, you know, all his agi, agi free players are just going to get wiped, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's so rough. Also, he's got 16 players, right? So he's only 2.165, so he probably should have gone down to 15 because... You know he'll be down a substantial amount. Yeah, look at this team here, two six four. So you know, like you can still be yeah. down TV quite a bit with two, and he's down like what? Um, oh my god, I can't find, can't find his opponent. They were about two one, weren't they? Two one something. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know which one. Was there it they this are. one? Petit mass cost out towards the bottom, fourth up. Is that them? I think Scipion was that one. Mate, I don't. I don't know anymore. <laughs> it, was it was Paminx. Dead. It was Paminx. It must be ah, right, part. okay. Oh my god, I can't find anything. Here oh, we at go. the top. 219. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh yeah, so he's only actually, he's hardly any down. But he could have been, he could have been more down, right? Like, and there, are, there's teams he could have been 400 TV down, so I would generally go 15 for the playoffs for that reason, you know, just not knowing who, who, who else could be in. Uh, high TV, but nice team, but he's, he hasn't got a juggernaut, and uh, that means he's not going to be able to one turn against nine stand firm. I don't think he'll be able to remove the, enough to stop that. <laughs> no, no. Um, Art, Art needs some real nuffle love here. <laughs> he really yeah. does. Art is arguably one of the best blood bowlers to ever blood bowl, but he's going to need a bit more than supreme skill here, I think. I mean, he's got he's got four rerolls. His opponent's got two, you know. So he can he can he's going to have to play a little bit like Chunter, isn't he? Which is going to be hilarious yeah. because uh, nobody yeah, hates yeah, yeah. playing like Chunter more than Artemis. <laughs> no, that's right. You know, um, um, Chunter's like Marmite, and Artemis is firmly in the I fucking hate it camp. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, it's, it's going to have to be done, right? He's going to have to throw the kitchen sink at him pretty quickly before he runs out of men. And hope you know yeah. with two rerolls, something happens and, and he makes something happen while he still has a team left. So yeah, that's going to be super interesting. Yep. Um. No, oh, what? That's gone wrong. Never mind. May the odds ever be in your favour, Artemis. <laughs> <Love> yeah, you, <laughs> brother. Yeah. Uh, I think Pamings is favourite for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I feel like saying for those about to die. We salute you. <laughs> That's hilarious. If it's another first round exit for Artemis, that will be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to take the piss. <laughs> yep, yep, amazing. Uh, right, so that, that, that's that's bracket A done. On bracket B, we have Synonymous, uh, a, a familiar name there, with Chaos Renegades up against Scipion with Dwarves. More dwarves. It's very exciting, isn't it? Dwarves. I, I do love dwarves. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, you know, we, we as soon as we saw this rule set, we knew what was going to happen, didn't we? We absolutely knew what was going to happen with it. Um, mm. Orcs and dwarves. The same as LRB4, basically, with the odd claws, razor sharp claws team trying to equal, trying to level the playing field, wasn't it? Um, and it's much the same now. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, it's it's a it's weird, right? Especially with like this ultimate high TV thing. Like without redrafts, you've got like you know dwarves and orcs naturally build like the best. But then so then you've got elves to try and counter them, especially with a multiple reroll usage per turn, and especially with dirty player sneaky get can equalize or just easily make them the team that outbashes the opponent. And then yeah, uh, the the good old chaos team is only only possible without redraft. Um, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> you know, redraft totally kills them. But without redraft, that you can build up a high chaos team with claw. And this is somehow a high chaos team without claw. 
<laughs> this is two point yeah. one million. Only yeah. three rerolls, and I don't know what it has. <laughs> why? Why would you go wrestle, then go sneaky git? I, I hate know. that. I, I I hate it. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna aim to go for sneaky git as a second skill, there's only one skill you give him first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. There's. I want to say there's nothing here. The Renegade Skaven movement eight. Uh, two heads. Um, what's that skill on the end? That's a good question. Um, Monstrous mouth. Oh my god. So look, <laughs> you know, the fact that we didn't even know what that was suggests how crap it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yep, Synonymous. Oh, Synonymous is a PS4 alumni. Oh, well, there um, you go. PS4 Pro. <laughs> PS4 Pro glory. Here, here we are. Just throw one of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> Way. <Wait. laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, Sinai Mouse is actually a really nice guy. Um, yeah, good luck, mate. You're good probably going to need it with Chaos Renegades, which suck by default anyway. You know, yeah. enjoy the game. <laughs> and he's up against dwarves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. GG Sinai Mouse. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Another. Oh, look at the blodge. Yeah, nine, nine mighty blow. Um. Seven Nine blodge. Guard and seven blodge. That's like that's unbelievable. And there's loads of blood. And two defensive on top as well. Yeah. And loads of stand firm. This is a really really nice team. I mean two point one eight, like stacking that many skills on dwarves is kinda of crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Like you're still you know getting the scary good thing. You know the scary thing, Jim? Still not quite as nice as the last dwarf team we saw. And this <laughs> one's really good. <laughs> oh, it's got the runner though. Look, it's got the runner. It's got an edge yeah. one plus runner, movement eight, and blodge. So it's got a legend carrier basically. Yeah, yeah, blodge yeah. And four stats. Really nice. Finally seen a good carrier. It's just more subtle now, right? The, the, the way they don't show, they don't show the stats very well at all in this game. But yeah, so an amazing runner. I think I think this is better. I think this is the best dwarf team. It doesn't have as much mighty blow. It, I mean, it doesn't have the three hundred fifty TB death roller, right? It's got. It's just all business. It's got a million dodge. I guess it's not as good in the dwarf mirror, probably. It's got the sneaky get dirty player. It's yeah. This yeah. Is, I love this team actually. This is uh... it's a great it's a great team, isn't it? Both both the dwarf teams we've seen. I do you know what? If I see a crap dwarf team in this draw, <laughs> then I am gonna mercilessly mock the coach. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 mer no, no mercy in this dojo. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the coaches at all. <laughs> Calcium's just being a lovely fella. Don't worry. <laughs> Non-toxic, 100%. Non-toxic. So there you go. Obviously, huge favourite there. I think Skippy on with the dwarves. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. But again, we've got no idea how good these coaches are. Of course, this is the thing. I was... um, you know, and not not making any judgment on the coaches. Uh, you know, because obviously. Some of the coaches aren't going to be the best. <laughs> Not being nasty because of the preseason thing, you know, a lot of it was just how many games you played, right? And like, and just get you farming concedes against you know new players. So a lot of the people in this may not be the best coaches, but um, you know, yeah, it, it, just trying to judge on the teams, you know. So um, um Sinatra Mouse was actually a solid coach on the PS4. He always yeah. gave me a tough game. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I had a very, um, you know, a massively good record against him. Um, so yeah, he was always kind of coach that would give me a game. That that's with, that's against me. So take that how you will. You know, <laughs> 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 I'm under no illusions that I'm probably above average at best. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, he, he was a solid enough PS4 coach. So yeah, read into that there what you, you like. Go. All right, <laughs> and then we've got Torvir. With orcs versus Kalamona with dark elves. Um, so here's Torfi's 1370 orc team. So, you know. How did a 1370 orc team get in? Because he probably just played a lot of games and won a lot of games and, and just had his team killed at some point. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sacrificed them all to Nuffle for the lols. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, congrats qualifying. But um, Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah, almost certainly not going to have a good time. Yep. <laughs> Try the bill, we're here all week. <laughs> in the cup, because it's not even like min-maxed, right? It just it just looks gutted. It doesn't look... You know, like you could probably have like a mean 1300 TV team, uh, like of dwarves, right? But that, yep. that is not it. 
Up against Kalamona, who uh, used to play on Fumble, didn't he, Kalamona? I remember the name. Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, he's only got 1550. Dark ironically, City. Jim, ironically, this could be a game on the base. And to be honest, the you know, the, obviously the rule of five, he's got five pretty good players. They're not very good. Um, one blitz is MNG'd, which you'll miss. Yeah, huge, the Blodge Guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, they're, they're nice players. But again, this team isn't setting the Blood Bowl world light either, is it? So, mm. ironically, um, I still think this Dwarf, t uh, sorry, this Dark Elf team would be 70 30 favourite. But yeah. it, we, we were thinking it was a foregone conclusion, weren't we? So. Yeah. <laughs> Based on most of the, you know, the quality of most of the teams in the competition, you know, the 13 yeah, looked yeah. terrible. But yeah, lucky that he got a 1500 team and it should be a match. But uh, yeah, we'll yeah. definitely favour Calamona for that one. And then we've got Crucifer versus Cal Troop. Oh, look, Crucifer's not playing Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> Get fucked, Crucifer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I love Crucifer. <laughs> we all do. He's a legend, isn't he, Crucifer? Yeah, he is. Yeah, so. he's, he's one of the best known Blood Bowl 2 coaches ever, and rightly so, because he's like the Beyond Borg of Blood Bowl 2, and he? <laughs> he is, albeit, yeah. He is. Albeit nowhere near as good looking as Beyond Borg. <laughs> but, you know, no, one, no one's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is, is, anyone, uh, is anyone as good looking as Beyond Borg? Just say it. I don't think so. It's a so good question. It. It's a good question. Uh, Henry Cavill, but I mean, you've got to go really high. To, to oh go. yeah, no. I, I, do you know what? Yeah, um, he, he's on my, he's on my hall pass slip, Jim. Just saying. <laughs> um, so, and Wendy has no problem with it. But then she likes Scottish people as well. I just want to talk about that. <laughs> Chris versus Carl Troop. Um, this is Carl Troop. 1765. And he's got dwarves. And while this looks, you know, just about as scary as the other dwarves, well, it's not, it's not though, is it? Kind of worse. It's got dwarves. He's got some guard. He's got some stand firm. What's the piling on icon? Because it's not piling on, is it? Um, uh, second player down, number two, Jim. It's. Uh, Pile driver. Ah, uh, of course it is. Yeah, that worthless piece of crap. Oh, um, his runner's missing. Yeah, um, the fact that his runner's missing puts him down to 11. Um, do you know what? Dwarves are resilient, but that's too trim for dwarves, isn't it? At yeah. mid to high TV. Because you, you're going to take attrition. You're going to take casualties. Um, so. I mean, the biggest thing is who he's against, right? We haven't seen yeah. the team yet, but Cruz has Nurgle. So, it's going to be, be a monster Please be a bag of shit. Please be a bag of shit. Please be a bag of shit. It's, it's definitely going to be a monster team. <laughs> two, two, seven. Oh, God, no, yeah, okay. GG. No dwarves allowed. <laughs> claw mighties. Four claw mighties. Two defensives. Three stand firms. Four tackles for the elves. Lodge. It's, it's a cruise team, isn't it? It's what he, it's what he does. Move eight you ball know? carrier. Beautiful. It's an actually beautiful team, isn't it? No injuries, because there's only one PA. The only thing it's missing is Sneaky Git on the Rotter, right? That's literally the only thing it's missing. Yep. And that's Crucifer's probably because he here, took a random, right? right? He, took, he took randoms yeah. on these two. Yeah. Crucifer's here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and he's all out of bubble gum, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is amazing, isn't it? That is an amazing team, and... Uh, I think he's going to be the obvious favourite for the cup. Um, you know, like it's it's just amazing, right? It's uh, eight guard. Like this is actually just about what you'd make for a chaos, for a Nurgle team, right? Nurgle because they're bashier than Chaos because they've got written nine regen, yeah, and five yeah. foul appearance. Um, okay, you could have a few more skills, but at the end of the day, he's, he's got like he's got two with defensive. He's got the three stand firm. He's got loads of attack. He's got maximum guard it's it's just glorious it's an absolutely glorious team and it's probably the best coach so uh yep oh hands hands down you know um uh, obviously aside from that tabletop guy whose name i've forgotten already um <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> olivia dulac oh we know we know olivia dulac don't we i i, I know the name um yeah, he's played on he's played on a football like two as well a bit yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Crucifer for that one, wasn't it? Um, yeah, Crucifer 100%. Cal Troop's a good good player as well, isn't he? Um, yeah. Or Cool Troop. It might be Cool Troop. 
whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, you'd who wouldn't bet their house on Crucifer? <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Like, it's a dice game, right? And he's probably not that high, right? He's probably only, like, 70... 74.2% to win that match. But... Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's still... It's still... You, everyone's going to bet on him because it's Cruz and his team's way better. And it, Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, I think he's the favourite to win the whole thing. But, that's... Obviously, there's so much luck involved in that and he may well not win the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Then the, And the winner of that will play the winner of Mongloom with his Nurgle versus Kelethorn with Chaos Renegades. So, this is Mongloom. Um, not quite the Chris team that we've just seen, is it? It's 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 trim um, at 1755, 12, 12 players. I'd probably like to see another couple of Rotters just to throw on the LOS. Um, I've got three unskilled Rotters for the LOS. And he's got one point two mil. So, um, are these teams locked now? Can he add players? Or? I'm pretty sure they're locked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because like right, they're okay. doing the draw. So I'm pretty sure there's like you know they're yeah. locked now. So I think that might have been a mistake. He may Big have wanted mistake, to add yeah. some players. Yeah. Do you agree with that, Jim? I think 14 players, two more rotters on 14. the. Yeah. He's got a yeah. sneaky get dirty player, and he's got another dirty player. So like you, your primary plan is to foul against the teams you're outclassed by. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay, you might get a bribe or whatever and a star against the teams you're out of class by, but you'd still rather... Oh, and actually, actually there, there's a star that's got... Um, he's the Nurgle guy, and he's got DP plus one, right, in the real rules. Um, I can't remember his name. Bilerot Vomit Flesh. But in Blood Bowl he? 3, he's got DP plus two. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Oh, Christ. So he's best a pretty I, good option. I mean, Blood Bowl 3, then. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty good option if you're a Chaos Team down TV. Um, but yeah, I, I think he definitely should have had 14, like, you're just 100%, because it's... Yeah. yeah. Nice team, but I think his, I think his, you know, sort of shallow bench is probably going to catch up with him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's decent. It's a decent. It's a decent enough team. It's just, it's like you know, he's got the move three, which is pretty terrible, and uh, yeah, and yeah, we, we've, the, you know, the the main thing is we've just seen Chris's team. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the worst yeah. thing for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. But then he's got to get past this other guy first, and he so. Well, I mean, it just means it like it makes it his team look worse, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Even on a res format, you know. Um, you know you're going to be falling into a monster because there's just no way Crucifer's losing that. <laughs> no, no, probably not. Right, there's Calathorn. Here we go. Ooh, 1300 TV. Oh wow, all of his teams miss next. <laughs> he should have played one more game, shouldn't he? Before the yeah, before the tournament. So, so th because it's res, do the MNGs not res then? No, they never come back. No. <laughs> okay, right. Well, GG. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well done qualifying California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, it's not even worth looking at it anymore, is it? <laughs> no, We're, you know, um, it means it means the uh, the stream's going to be nice and trim. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Um, looking like looking like out of that bracket, obviously Cruz has got to be favourite out of that bracket. Um, Skippion's dwarfs look good. Um, you know, they're certainly. I think they're going to smash Synonymous. Probably win against Kalamona and Torvit. Um, but yeah, Crucifer. You just can't look past the guy, can you? No, so. Not really. Yeah. Not really. Then we've got Hype261 in his Orcs versus Horny Cricket with Nurgle. Um, well, Horny Cricket's here, so let's look at him first. We've only seen one Orc team, haven't we? I'm, obviously, we're looking at the Nurgle now, so I should say that in a minute. But. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I like Kick again. I like Kick on this team. Um, it's a perfectly good team, just underdeveloped. I've, it's either been smashed or it's underdeveloped. Whatever it is, it hasn't got enough, has yeah. it? Yeah, it's 1900 TV, and it's like it just—it's just not there, is it? You know, there's, where's no. the mighty blow? There's there's like two claw mighties. There's no like spam mighty blow. There's no spam. Uh, you know, there's just yeah, it's. It's, it's weird it's how good team. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? Mm. You know, when we, you know, don't think um, horny cricket. If you're watching, you know, we're not pissing over your team because it's perfectly good. But you know, we've some, seen some teams that have thrown us back in our seat, and we're like, whoa, <laughs> you yeah, know, exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm afraid this one is. Uh... <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's nice. It's nice enough, yeah. but it's Jim, just Jim Gasm. <laughs> it's kind of. Uh. <laughs> it's it's got some, you know, yeah. It's it's getting harder for everyone to live up to Chris's team. Uh, Chris has showed everybody the perfect noble team, so now it's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's up against boring, brilliant, brilliantly named boring team here, uh, like most orc teams. And yeah, finally seen an orc team. Um, well, I mean, there was an orc team before. It wasn't a real orc team. This looks more of a real orc team here. Eh? We've got uh, eight guards, no troll. But eight guards. No five, troll with two nine. goblins is a choice. <laughs> yeah, weird, isn't it? And no startup goblins. Oh, I guess two sneaky gits, right? He's got two sneaky git goblins, one with DP. So I'd I'd have no problem with two goblins, build them as dirty player sneakies, and then have a throw teammate desperation play. Um, just drop. You know, obviously those orc linos are actually quite nicely built. You know, wrestle tackle and block tackle. Um, don't know about the sure hands one. I guess he's a ad hoc Mr. Fro, but <laughs> you know, um, yeah, a troll on this team would just be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, well, especially when you think these linos are costing them 90k, right? Like, that's a lot. That's a, you know, a troll's only 20 more, and it gives you strength yeah. 5, and, and you know, and obviously you could get skills as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's weird, but it's, it's nice going block guard defensive. Interesting, you know, rather than like going block guard mighty or block guard stand firm. Um, and maybe block guard stand firm and mighty, you know. So you, you, tr you are trading a lot to get defensive that early. I, I wouldn't go that early, but it's interesting to see somebody taking it that early. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I don't think it's enough defensive to trouble the Nurgle as long as they're sensible. You know, um, I guess if the Nurgle if the Nurgle team doesn't get the attrition, then then maybe they'll be able to do something. But it's a, it's a nice team. I I, I think. Probably the orcs a slightly favourite for me. Yeah, I, I think I'd put the orcs favourite here, despite despite it looking a decent. Uh, despite Not it much in it, is there? But yeah, it's not it's a massive close. amount in it. It's it's a it's yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if it went either way that game. So hype and horny cricket, best of luck. There you go. And we've got Albachon with Black Orcs, which is probably the highest TV team in, in the competition. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, most of them actually, 2-2 two, two, two is about the highest uh, we've got for most of them. But uh, this Black Orc team is 2-6. And then uh, up against Chambi with Nurgle. So let's have a look. Can I just go on record, Jim, and saying that I genuinely hate Black Orc teams. I hate <laughs> everything about them. I hate the fluff. I hate, I hate their build. Um, I, I hate, I just hate them, honestly. Um, my <laughs> hatred burns deep for Black Hawk teams, um, and I, you know, I have to make sure that I damn that hatred so it doesn't spill over into fucking idiot coaches that take Black Hawk teams. So to the chalice. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> brilliant. Well, what's interesting is he's got a lot of legends here, hasn't he? This is a lot of le look at this. They're all legends. They're all yeah. success six uh, level up. The top seven players, all legends. That's that's actually. And look, Legend, one of them, 130. How many games has this guy played to get to Legend plus 113 SPPs? Probably a lot. <laughs> Probably this is, a lot. This is Artemis school of build a killer team. Um, you spin into them and 80% of Blood Bowl 3 will be like, yeah, I'm not wasting my time. Fuck that. <laughs> 289 <laughs> games. Oh, my God. Wow. And how many um, of those were played till completion? Like, about... Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought that we missed forced retirement or aging, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> played about 50 games and got 230 concession wins. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, it's actually... Uh, so he's got two sneaky get dirty players, which is really, really nice. Lovely spread of um, lodge firm. Holy mm. shit. Um, yeah, seven, yeah, all the top seven, seven lodge firm. Yeah, they, mm. they, they are all lodge firm, which is... Um, this is actually a really nice team, isn't it? <laughs> it is actually pretty good having seven legend black orcs, funnily enough. <laughs> I've like six legend that. black orcs and a legend troll. It's pretty good. I uh, still hate this team, but I, you know, my hatred doesn't coincide with my admiration for it. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of PA injuries, which doesn't matter. Um, so that's okay. The edge doesn't really matter so much, right? The, the AV's annoying and the move's annoying, but, you know, stand firm mitigates it somewhat. And along with the yeah. dodge. What's this? Armbar. Okay, so I guess that was a random. Wait. 
Are they Umbar. 80? This wasn't a random. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he 6. took Amba. Maybe he just thought, fuck it, I'll give it a go. He was wrong. Um, but or he or she. Um, but... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that should only be taken as a random. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But... Um, 100%. Two sneaky get dirty players. Lovely. Yeah, brilliant. Really nice carrier here. Block sure hands, sprint sure feet, sidestep, move seven. Lovely, lovely legend goblin. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of legend. Legend, legend goblin. <laughs> it legends on this <laughs> Those two team. words should never be said together. You say that five times in a mirror and you get kicked in the nuts from behind. <laughs> 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 I've got to say, I'd rather it was like, you know, move eight and add two plus, right? Like, the the, the sprint show feet, I mean, one of them should have just been move, right? The sprint should have yeah. just been move, could it? Could it yeah, uh, yeah, I guess yeah. it's got no SPP left, so I guess it only just got to legend. It's still so, nice, though, and, you know, this guy is probably single handedly. Um, kept Blood Bowl free alive. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing team. I've got to say, I'm pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm do you know what? In all um, of this I, team. I, I must say, I actually really, really respect this team. Still fucking hate it, but I, you know, I respect it. Yeah. Let's see what he's up against. He's, he's up against Nurgle, so it might not be. Might be a moot point. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how it plays, though. That's the thing, right? Because it's one thing to yeah, look, at, yeah. look at, you know, eight legends and then think it's pretty funny, but. Um... Wow. So this is Chambi's Nurgle. And well, but it's well, it's it's slightly less good than um, Crucifer's, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. It, I, you know, I think Crucifer's has the edge, maybe a ten percent edge, but it's still a nice team. Four claw mighties, one of them with tackle, which is just going to absolutely rain fire on the goblins. <clears throat> um, yeah, nice bit of stand firm. A couple of defensives as well, which I think will be really helpful. It's going to be an LOS battle, isn't it? Between the bloaters and the rot spawn mm. and the bobs, you know? Um, so I, I don't know who wins this one, Jim. Yeah, it's interesting. You've got the two sneaky gits as well. That, you know, they could do big fouls as well, right? The grab. Yeah. There's, there's four yeah. stun firm, so the grabs can do some, can set up some huge gang fouls with all that guard. Um, it'll be interesting. I mean, really, well, the, but to be fair, actually, it's this Nurgle team plus Morg, right? And a wizard. So. <laughs> I, um, do you know what? I, what's that? Yeah, the reason I don't really know who's going to win this game is because I have no idea how to play Black Hawks, so I'm in no position to judge. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, a, a seven legend Black Hawk team, like, you know, it's like, that's crazy. Could you imagine, like, a. a a lizard man team where all of the saurus were legends like it would be insane wouldn't it and the crocs yeah, yeah. so like i know i know you know black oaks are a lot worse but it's still going to be very interesting to see how it play out i want to i want to see the game but uh yeah if it was just between the teams i would it would be i, I would give the advantage to the black oaks when you think that the nurgle are going to have morgue and a wizard or you know buy rock vomit flesh and bribes or whatever i think that's probably going to tilt it to the nurgle the fact they've got so much inducement cash yeah Never let it be said, Jim, right, that I don't ever change my mind or my opinion. I actually hope the Blackhawks win this game. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, Albertson, um, give Jim a heads up when you're actually playing it. Um, I would really love to commentate on that game. I would love to commentate on that game. Um, um, oh, do you have to... Um, oh, I guess... Either Albichon or the other guy has to stream it, don't they? Correct. Yes, everyone has to stream uh, their games, and then uh, is that a requirement? Is it? It is. Yep. And then okay. <laughs> and so then what? I you will... can you can watch their streams essentially. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I okay. will restream their streams on double speed, <laughs> 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 or like a Discord that you know they can stream it through Discord or whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Someone, someone yeah. streams each yeah. game or records one. You know, records yeah. it somehow. But Albichon, massive respect what you've done there you've gone one better than me at my height in um, LRB4 I had four legends called the Fantastic Four you've got seven mate so <laughs> you know uh, and 280 games Jesus Christ that's that's fumble veteran numbers you know me and Jim would have been happy with a 280 game team on fumble let alone Blood Bowl 3 for God's sake yeah. so yeah I'm, I, I still hate everything about black orcs but massive respect mate massive respect there you go and uh then we've got sarkabolt with skaven up against mixon with dwarves 
and uh, hey. you know, congratulations on qualifying, Sarka Bolt. <laughs> Thanks for turning up. Enjoy the veal. We're here all week. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is. Uh, this is okay. I like that he's gone plus two AV on the gutters. That's something that I would say. You know, I just t finish your player and then take AV with your additional uh, yeah, level yeah. ups. Um, again, that was with like redraft in mind. There's obviously, it could, you know, if you're building up forever like this, there, there comes a point where TV efficiency ceases to be a factor and then just stacking more, more and more skills and everything does end up better. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and he's up against size, doesn't matter. Dwarves, uh, but unfortunately for Sarka Bolt, size does matter. <laughs> and these dwarves are bigger and have loads of guard, mighty blow, stand firm. It's probably going to be pretty bad for the scale. Yeah, so um, I love defensive on the death roller. Um, it's actually once you get the second skill, excuse me, um, second or third skill on the death roller. It's so difficult to skill them up because invariably you're fouling with them. They're not on the pitch a significant amount of time, you know. Um, so it's super hard to skill them up. I never got my death roller to the third skill up. So the fact that he's got it to the third skill up and giving it defensive, I love it. I love it. Um, I think it's a great skill to give a death roller number for the third skill. Glorious. No stats though on the one, which is uh, you know, sad. But you know, still should be enough to beat these. Dwarf rats. block alone. Oh, that's passing. Do you know what? I thought for a second that was armor. I'm thinking <laughs> six plus. How the how's that happen? No, um, <laughs> yeah, do you know what? The passing. Um, it would be lovely to have a feature to just blank that out, wouldn't it? Because no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> no one cares, literally. <laughs> so yeah, Mick Mixon, big favourite for that game. Well, not big favourite. They're still rats, right? They can still do things. They'll have, they'll have you know, more than a wizard. Yeah. So that, yeah. you know, they've got a chance. That, that's the thing, right? Like being that low, being that much TV down, you know, it gives you more. And more can just kill a team on his own. So yeah, it's um, interesting. I, I, you know, I, I think I've seen Morg misfire more than I've seen him fire. <laughs> but three games out of ten, he kicks in. You know. Yeah. Causes some causes a mess. So, yeah. Um, it, yeah but really, um, it should be um, uh, uh, yeah the uh, the second teams to win, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. The first team was just too weak. Uh, it should be the dwarves. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. The next one. Now don't don't try to control yourself, calcium. You know we don't want to derail. Hey. We don't want to derail the. Uh, the, 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 the mood the or the mojo. So, yeah. Mate, you yeah. know me, right? I got nothing but love yeah. for all my fellow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. except one, but let's just not mention him, right? So we've got Hiru with Dwarves versus Circle with Humans. Um, Hiru's team here. It's pretty nice, right? Low TV, like he did in the first cup, and uh, he did yeah. really well in the first cup. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is really low, right? 1300. Um, but he's got the Blue 7 runner. And, uh, it's but, still a good good spread of guard. It's good spread of skills for thirteen hundred, isn't it? But it's not bad. It is low TV. You know, I I it, I don't matter. It doesn't matter what you're bringing to the table. If you come across Crucifer's team um, or that Uber Dwarf team, the first one we saw, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> no, no, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, there's been some randoms taken here, which is, which I quite like. Right, this, this guy took a random. Got grab and then took another random and got guard, so stayed. That's like kind of what I do. I, I'd have like I'd random the first skill often, and then obviously brawler here was got on random, wasn't it? And then you can random the second skill, and then if there's so if if the first skill's like all right, like brawler yeah. or grab, you can random the second skill as well that might save them, right? Like mighty blow or stand firm or guard. And then I think this was very greedy to random a third, and boy was he lucky to get guard on both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, howdy! <laughs> I, I wonder. I, I wonder how many players he cycled. Um, a lot. You know, I, I, I know here he's a good player. I don't know him much beyond that. Is he known for cycling players, or I mean, I, just I guess looking we, at we this, really he know, has to have done right. He just he yeah, just yeah, has yeah, to have done. yeah, yeah. But yeah, perfectly good team. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. And we're going to very, very much skip over this next team here. <laughs> it's yeah. a human team. Oh, good. It's a 1300 team, so it's worth skipping over it. It's actually yeah. really TV efficient and uh, a good team. But, you know, we all hope it loses. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's let's that. not give that. <laughs> That's that done. Any airtime. 
<laughs> and uh so you know how about that oh, oh jim you you can just imagine how i'm busting at the seams right now mate oh. <laughs> hold <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah so here we go out of that bracket i mean my favorite team has got to be the black oak team it's just so funny to be honest so there you go i'll be cheering for albert john with that <laughs> i want the black oak team to win it all i can't believe i'm saying that i am I, I feel like I feel like um, you know um, uh, uh, Albachon has just been like some form of blood bowl free Black Hawk Jesus. He's laid his hands on me, <laughs> but I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the light. <laughs> and we've, <laughs> we've got Sorry, the last bracket no. here. We've got Lambda with Nurgle versus Lanicus with Orcs. And uh, well, this looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Smelly wound, nice. Two billion, bunch of block guard mighty, some block, five block claw mighties, mighty. but he's um, maybe one less. Uh, obviously, you want all four bloaters to have guard, ideally, but mm. you know it's not horrendous. Um, I think five claw mighties is overkill because there's no way in any turn you're going to get all five blocks off with them. You know, mm. so. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have more claw mighty than less, you know. <laughs> but um, I do think that you sacrifice in in the quest for blood and bash, which obviously we know a little bit about, Jim. You know, clearly, you were much better at it than I was. But you know, we both know a little bit about that. You can sacrifice decent skills chasing that glorious rip, can't you? Mm. <laughs> um, do you know what? I rest my case, Your Honor. Three dirty players, one of which was dirty sneaky. Okay, mm. well, I'm, I won't hear anything else bad about this team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, but it's only got 12 players. And again, I would have liked yeah. to have seen this up to 14. You know, if you've got three, you've got three dirty players. That's a statement of intent, isn't it? Get, yeah. get yourself up to 14. You know, you can be facing, you know, like all these dwarf teams, right? You know that the dwarf teams are in there, right? They're coming with like 10 mighty blow guys. Yeah. And you know that if you, you're up TV, you're going to be facing more. And you know, you know, if, if someone's got like a rubbish team, then then they've got Morg, and that Morg can side through your team. Other other teams with Claw Might, you can, you know, even Elves with sneaky get dirty player can can remove a bunch of players. Yeah, so yeah. I think you have you have. It's really wrong to not go up to fourteen here when when you've got the money. But um, same as the other Nurgle team, wasn't it? Um, mm. Yeah, I think you know now they're locked. Um, I think they're going to pay for that. Both both. The, you know, both the teams are perfectly good, but I think that's probably going to bite them in the ass. Even in a res format, in a single game, that can bite you in the ass, can't it? So, yeah, yeah that's the thing. Like, you know, yeah, different, obviously, if it was if it wasn't res and stuff. But yeah. um, but yeah, even even on an individual match, it's like it's just too too likely to get banged out. Like they're, they're mostly armor rate, right? Like, yes, you've got the really tough uh, warriors and everything, but it's just yeah. really really easy to get banged out. We all can see. Look, this is a team that can do it. <laughs> um, Four, five, six, seven, seven mighty blow. Seven mighty blow. Dirty player, sneaky. I, I think, mm. I think dirty sneaky. You know, um, if I was writing, you know, tips on how to build a good team, that would probably be <laughs> one of my top five suggestions. You know, <laughs> <laughs> build a dirty sneaky as quickly as you can. <laughs> yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Hundred percent. It's so good. And he's got a lot of stats here, hasn't he? He's got a move seven, add two plus blitzer. Another couple of move seven blitzers. I'm not sure that they're giving you a lot the, of value um, of the movement there, to be honest. The movement up add blitzer is armor busted, which is isn't the end of the world in his situation. It's also blood step, which is really nice. Mm. Um, mm. So, really, actually, a really nice built ball carrier, better than any Mister Fro. Um, yeah. Yeah, this team. I've. Do you know what? I, I think with this amount of mighty blow, um, I think the weak bench of the Nurgle probably might be found out. I have to give the Orcs a slight favourite here. Because let, lest we forget, Claw Mighty is nowhere near the devastating armour-piercing weapon of mass destruction it used to be. <laughs> yeah, it's way worse now. It's absolutely way worse. Like It's, yeah, it's uh, yeah. been heavily nerfed. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's... Uh... That's pretty interesting, but yeah, I think I think yeah, orcs orcs could be the uh, orcs could be the favourite just based on the number of players. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 
Greg Mack with Black Hawks versus Quarter. Finally, an elf team. Elves dominated the. Uh, I mean, we've had some dark elves, but not really. Great only, dark only elf three. Teams. Only three dark elf teams out of twenty. Well, fir, no, twenty. What? Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what. I'm too ill to do maths, all right? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Out of how many teams? Um, yeah, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> God. Maybe that's why I'm so shit at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's hard to say, right? 32, but then 28 after the teams we've looked at. But um, yeah, you know, like a couple of Skaven teams, three Dark Elves, and, and not like super high TV teams either. That, that's like kind of the craziest thing, right? Like you'd expect to see. We had monster Darth Elf and Elven Union teams in the first cup, and we just didn't get them this time. But I guess we didn't have Eliod and um, Gadenic playing them. Uh, that helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah. So this, the second Black Oak team. Um, let's see if you love this one, Calcium. Can I go back to just hating them again? Uh, yeah, I think you might, looking at this. <laughs> There's not yeah, do you know what? It's it just sucks, doesn't it? Come on, let's be honest, it's just shit. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fourteen eighty five, you know, it's so it's low mid TV. Um double moves on two gobos. Mm. Yeah, stunned. okay. Um But lack of twelve players for Blackhawks seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, do, do you know what? He hasn't got sneaky gits. Like, I guess he's random all of these. No. no. But he, he needed to get sneaky yeah. to a dirty player. And, uh, I mean, this is really nice, isn't yeah. it? With movement up and, and both movement You're up literally, nice. if you don't build a dirty player sneaky git, you are literally disarming yourself, aren't you? <laughs> you know, you're, you're becoming like the Netherlands of the Blood Bowl world. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> could punch their way out of a wet paper bag. You know what I mean? So, you know. <laughs> You need that. You need a couple of nukes, all right. Not that I'm fight. I'm not pro nukes, all right. I'm actually, you know, I'm all for um, nuclear disarmament. But in a blood bowl perspective, strap it to my fucking forehead, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Absolute top tier calcium commentary. <laughs> uh, you know, I just throw in an anecdote or two. It's all. <laughs> Oh god! Right. <laughs> and I love, I love the, the Netherlands, right? Um, <laughs> I, I don't hate them. I love them. It's all good. <laughs> um, so yeah, up against the, here we go. The Elven Union, sixteen hundred TV. So again, not a massive team. Um, what the hell is this? Cloudburster. No sneaky get dirty player. Mighty blow tackler with jugs. And, uh, so the mighty the mighty blow tackle alone on this elf team. It's going to cause havoc, isn't it? Um, mm. Three missing players, so he's going to be loaned up Oof. to 11. Yeah. Um, you know, one of them being a catcher, which is, yeah, the Linos, you don't care about. Um, the catcher, you're sort of going to miss, aren't you? Mm, a little <laughs> bit, but I mean, it, it really is missing, like, having another developed catcher, right? Like, that's the thing. It's Even if he had him, his rookie catcher is a bit crap, isn't it? And this yeah, yeah, a yeah. Bit crap. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty low TV, I think. But it's it's Black Hawks. I think he'll probably win this round and then come and yeah. stuck uh, later in the competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. The good thing, the thing he's got going for him is the res, right? So he can he can just get murdered every single game but win with a wizard. <laughs> so. Res changes a lot, doesn't mm. it? It changes the dynamic of the competition entirely. So... It does. It does. Right, and then we've got Caster. Caster Troy from uh What a off. film. <laughs> One of the few nineties films that I actually like. <laughs> you know, because the nineties the nineties was fine, but I'm an eighties kid, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and um but you know, um I did like Grunge and Face Off. Oh, and um uh, um Conair. Conair is quite oh. possibly one of the greatest films ever. But Nick Nicholas Cage, right? Again, he's on my list. He's he's another hall pass, honestly. <laughs> I, I would, I would totally cage out for Nicolas Cage. Oh God, yeah. Nice. Right. Anyway, too, much, too much information. <laughs> Missing with Skaven. Yep. Let, let's go back to the Blood Bowl, please, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Wow, this is a really nice. Look, really nice runner. Move seven, edge two plus, blodge. 
with the 11 75 that'll be oh. plus 70 won't it because he'll have no no plus 140 because uh mm. there'll be two loaders on that so that's going to be just over 1300 when he oh no oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> um I was about to say, right, the lack when you've got 275k in the bank, the lack of players is a little bit unforgivable, but not as unforgivable as zero rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Um, he's taken Randos first on every every long beard, I think. You can see by the TV, look, that was they're 70, right? So they've gone 80 yeah. and then 100 and 120. I quite like that, honestly. You know, you get the random. Just recycle them, them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and I would imagine um, Castor's, Castor's done this a lot. You know, he's face off this team quite a lot and he's <laughs> taking their face off. <laughs> Mate, you know me, I'm all full of the pop culture references. <laughs> yeah. <off>. <laughs> <laughs> God, what a good film. I'm going to have to quote some of those lines. That's for bloody sure. <laughs> Go on, it. Right. He's up against Missing with Skaven and, uh, well, Missing might go missing in the second round, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh it's okay in it 1500 mm. um so he's going to be giving away 200 tv um yeah it's okay um, I, i'm i'm sort of going into a bit of a coma looking at it if i'm honest <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm starting to dribble oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine yeah in it yeah and as, as much as that's like a low low tv dwarf team i still think it's uh it's, it's, it's too much in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But hey, shenanigans, Jim. They can happen, can't they? So they can indeed. You never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> Don't say it's over. Amen, brother. <laughs> and then we've got Andre's Nurgle. <coughs> Andre, who needs no introduction, but we're going to give him one anyway. <laughs> Andre. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this tube with chaos. Yeah, Andre won the first. Uh, won the first. Uh, well, like Blood Bowl won World Cup, didn't he? And he's, uh, you know, he's won a lot of things. Yep. He's, he's good at the Blood As Lou Pack would say, he's a lad, and he? He's a lad. He's a lad. <laughs> he's a lad. Um, and again, he's, he's got this problem that everyone has is, you know, this is a decent looking team, right? It's a decent team. It's a totally yep. respectable team. You'd look at this team and you'd think, this is, you know, a decent Blood Bowl team. But it's not Cruz's Blood Bowl team. <laughs> no, no. He's taken a lot of randoms here, you can see. Um, yeah, yeah. Thick yeah. Skull, Juggernaut, Armbar twice. You know, he's he's, take, he's tried to get what value we can. He's low TV, like, it's, it's pretty TV efficient, but the problem why, is, it's just... Why would you take, why would you take a rando on a Claw Mighty? I'm sorry. Because there's nothing else to do, right? He took it be, before this, right? Before this. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So, rather, you might luck out and get a skill you really want. So, he obviously, Armbar's strength, isn't it? So, he went for strength. He was looking for guard, maybe, yeah. or um, jugs, maybe. Th jugs, yeah. I mean, you got jugs and thick skull, which are both, like, you know, do something, right? But, yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah, unlucky yeah, yeah. to get two Armbars. <laughs> <laughs> Armbar's so shit, innit? I should, I should like Armbar, but I just don't. Likewise, I should love Pile Driver, but it's just so fucking worthless. It's unreal. <laughs> it is Honestly. indeed. It is indeed. And he's up against Chuva with Chaos Chosen. And we've gone through here, and um, I don't think he's on the list, because I'm pretty sure there's only 31 teams. Uh. So, unfortunately... I mean, pretty amazing it was the last team that we haven't seen. But, Do we know um, what his TV is? We, we can guess, can't we? Well, he's got a Chaos team, so let's just let's just completely guess. Oh, it's a Chaos team. It's probably got, you know, some, some block and some guard and some mighty blow. <laughs> and some claw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We still talked about that, that more than we did that other guy. <laughs> 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 so, so that's the uh, out of that out of that section. I think it might be the orcs. The orcs look pretty nice there, didn't they? I think the orcs yeah. and the Nurgle there yeah. will, should have enough to. Difficult to bet against Andre though, even with mm. whatever team he's got, because yeah, he's good point, so yeah. good, and he he's so yeah, good. Yeah, good point. Um, good point. And with Rez as well, you know, you're not you you're going to be facing the team he's got. So 
You know, it's no good Lanikus thinking, well, I'm playing him in two games' time. Attrition might do a thing. Um, I, I, I think it's, yeah, between Lanikus and Andri, I think I'm probably going to lean towards Andri based on his history. Yes, yeah, that's totally fine. So our predictions are looking like... Um... Pamminx's as dwarves, I think, aren't they? I think Pamminx's as dwarves looks the best. Yeah, they were insane, weren't there. they? And then, uh, obviously, Christopher's Nurgle. Yeah. And... I can't remember this one. Oh, Albertron's Blackhawks. Let's go. Oh, my let's God. Go. Yeah. Do you know what? I, um, yeah, let's go. Um, I, I, I want to put on my mini skirt and cheerlead for those <laughs> bad boys. i got to be honest. <laughs> Any excuse to break out the mini skirt, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew's Nurgle, probably. So there you go. That's... That is yeah. the round, the the round of thirty-two. Very exciting, um, pretty cool, and you know, do our best to do our best to do you know, cover as much of those games um, in replays on double speed, restreaming people's streams. Um, yeah. So yeah, it should be it should be very good, and you know, it's very cool that the community came and you know tried to do something with what limited things were available. So there you go. Um, thank you very much, Calcium, for coming on and doing this with me. It's been amazing You're welcome, to have you in the booth again. Anytime. Absolute legend. Cheers, buddy. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.